OPM. Thank you very much, this is Jean Claude Jones. This is Ariel. <laughs> But can a child of 10 handle the strain of such a late night gig? The set continues, the late night starts to take its toll. Ariel decides to persevere. It's now 10.30 p.m. How did I play? I could, I could do better. You know, I was very tired. We're going out to improve. We're going out to improve? He's not pleased. I know it's flopped. What? I know it's flopped. You can flop. In exactly six weeks, Ariel makes his European debut at a jazz festival in Italy. Could it be too much too soon? Getting the balance right between protecting and encouraging a gifted child is incredibly difficult. But in Singapore, Valentine Corley is determined that his eight-year-old son, Einan, reaches his full potential. Complex processes in an organism begin when a molecular key fits into a correspondingly shaped molecular lock. Exactly. The key can be a relatively small molecule circulating in a body fluid, whereas the lock is usually a large molecule known as a biological receptor that is often found embedded in a cell membrane. Einan Corley's love of science was spotted when he was six years old. We discovered that he was interested in chemistry when he was at his uh, aunt's house. He found a chemistry book and he was reading it. And his aunt uh, saw him reading this and said, uh, Einan, you, you seem to understand that. And... Uh, he said, I do. And so she went away and got an exam paper, gave it to him, O-level exam paper, and uh, he answered the questions correctly. Einan taught himself chemistry on the internet and at seven passed the O-level exam. Now his father is battling to fast-track his academic career. Yehudi Menuhin without a violin is not a violinist. He's, he's a could-have-been. And, and the same applies to any of these children. If they don't get the opportunities they need, then all you've done is wasted their life and wasted the contribution they could have made to society. Huh? Tell me why I can't climb. The weight and the pressure. Daddy can't climb because he is so heavy. If he steps over here, he will ruin his feet because his weight exerted on a small area will cause a lot of pressure. He weighs 111 kg. And the surface area is roughly how much? Square inch, a square inch. A square inch. Can you imagine uh, what would have happened if Leonardo da Vinci had never been apprenticed to an artist? None of his work may have happened. 
put a child like that in an ordinary school is a kind of abuse. From his perspective, school is in slow motion, which is how he described school to me one day. He said to me, the only, the only thing I like about school is my friends. So he, he, does, have, he does have that, but um, the actual lessons don't give him anything at all. Nothing. They cannot. Although Aynan must continue attending primary school, Valentine has arranged for him, aged just eight years old, to also study chemistry at degree level. It's uh, only the third year students here get to do the experiments because they have gone through first and second year training. But for Ainan, he just comes in as if he's gone through the first and second year training already. He basically knows what to do. If I increase the concentration of nitrogen, what would happen? Reaction will go to Very good. Reaction would go to the right to reduce the concentration of nitrogen according to the Chatelier's principle. If I increase the concentration of chlorine, what's going to happen? Yeah, equilibrium will shift to the right. He has a mind of an eight-year-old, but the intelligence, which is roughly the same of ours, which is a bit stressful if you work with him. Subsequently, you need to wash it with sodium chloride. Huh? Tell me why we need to do this. I'll leave it to you to find out, OK? Why do you need to wash with sodium chloride? Anybody can tell me now? It eats layer separation. Yes, it eats layer separation. It's very obvious that he's a prodigy, and, that, uh, and I, I think the, the people here are very welcoming of that. I, I, I had worried they might not be, but no, there's no, no worries at all. But it would seem Einan might not be the only genius in the family. His father, now a freelance writer, originally studied natural sciences at Cambridge. When, when I was a child, I had many different gifts, but I, I don't think that they were um, given the full opportunities they needed to be expressed. To your mind, any of Einan's ability inherited from his parents? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Um, the funny thing is that his scientific interests parallel my own, age for age, as a child. He starts expressing interest in chemistry at six. It's the same age I became interested in chemistry. Okay? So it's, it's the same pattern. And yet, we didn't guide him in this pattern. We just let him be. And he chose the same path. It's easy for a child in that position to end up frustrated. And having you know, known that situation myself, I don't want to see him frustrated. I want to see him develop at his own pace, in the areas of his interest, and become the full human being he is intended to be. Coming up, music prodigy Ariel arrives in Italy for his European debut. This is a real jazz festival with uh, big names and he is very, very nervous. How will he handle his biggest test yet? Where are you from? I'm from uh, Davenport, Iowa. And what's the area code there? If you're a three, it's 563. If you're a seven, it's 309. Prodigious savant Kim Peek is a walking encyclopedia, having memorized over 12,000 books. When did England become England? It's been that way since 827 under Egbert, and then Athelstan and defeated the Danes at Brunnenburg and united the country. In what year? In 933. Good. But suffering from brain damage since birth, Kim is a genius in need of 24-hour care. And at 82, his father, Fran, has his own illnesses to contend with, having recently had a melanoma removed from his face. I have to brush his teeth and everything is physical. We shower together and I have to dress him after. He dressed himself, I have to redress him. Um, just. Just uh, everything we do together. And provisions have to be made for when Fran is no longer here. The last place I'd want him to go was into a group home or into an institution. My other son, uh, about uh, six months ago, uh, came and told me that uh, he would like to take his wife and move into our...